vlog number 182. I can't believe we are past six months and on our way to a year of vlogging. If you guys haven't yet, go down below, hit the subscribe button, turn on all post notifications. Do I even have to say it? Starting our day off the right way. Like I said, when we got back from San Francisco, we're locked back in on the workouts and the diets. We're heading over to Gold's Gym right now. Get this pump. How's your day going? Good. I'm ready to pump Friday energy. Oh yeah, it is Friday. It's Friday. You see guys, <laughs> working so much that the days start to blend. I didn't even realize it's Friday. My day is actually a little better now that I know it's Friday. <laughs> I wanted to share something personal with you guys just because I'm going through it right now, right? In your life, you're going to have highs and you're going to have lows, right? And you're never just going to have highs. Like, your life is never just going to be a bunch of happiness, right? Like, sometimes you're going to go through lows and you can't, like, help from going through those. It's like part of life. I really think it's a blessing sometimes because, like, it really me makes you appreciate the highs. And what I mean by I'm going through right now is, believe it or not, I've been going through a low the last couple days. I'm exhausted. I'm working so hard. I just feel burnt out. My energy's been a little less positive, but this time through, I'm trying to embrace it a little different. And when I go through this low in my life right now, I'm trying to go through it with a positive attitude and shake it off a little faster than just going through the low and staying in the low until for some reason a high comes along, right? So I just wanted to share that with you guys. Like, If you're going through a low, don't worry. It's all about how you go through that low. And then eventually, no matter what, you're gonna go through a high. Because that's what life is all about, it's highs and lows. You go through your lows to appreciate your highs, then you go through your highs to appreciate your lows. So if you're going through a low, or if you're going through a high, just know, regardless, life is always gonna be good if you just trust in yourself and you trust in God. Day two of sparing your lives. If you really watch the vlogs, you know what I was gonna say. We're gonna spare your lives again today, and we're gonna pass on that. It's crazy too, because when we talk about highs and lows, the gym has actually been helping me get through these last couple of days, which is so crazy, you know, because I tell you guys, you know, start your day off the right way, start it with the gym. The gym is just not for health, like physical health. The gym is actually good for mental health, believe it or not. By the time I'm done with this workout, I should feel a lot better. Had an amazing workout today, guys. Went hard, Friday energy, and then I got my protein bar to get my 13 grams of protein before we head to the crib and eat our wholesome meal for the day. I did want to make an announcement, though. Very, very big announcement. I'm going to put up here this new channel. This is officially my music channel. No longer will you be able to find any of my music on my main YouTube channel. I will have a separate music channel for all of you to start supporting my music. So if you haven't yet, please, if you really want to see more music, me and the label have been plotting a lot of song releases, maybe even potentially an album release. So go up to this page right here, subscribe to it. Again, it's my new dedicated music channel. I need everyone's support more than ever right now. Also, super important, because I got a lot of new content that's gonna be dropping. There is another page right here. This is going to be my dedicated YouTube Instagram. So if you guys haven't followed that yet, go over to that Instagram, shoot it a follow. This is where I'm gonna be posting all my dedicated YouTube reels. And then there's one more page that I need support on. I need you guys to go up to this page right here. This is my dedicated TikTok YouTube. This is where all my clips from YouTube are gonna go as far as TikTok. So please, I know it's a lot of pages for you guys to follow, but I'm asking and begging you guys, please, Go to the three new pages, my dedicated music channel, my dedicated Instagram YouTube page, and my dedicated TikTok YouTube page, and hit follow on all of those pages, please. Excuse me, miss. I seen you already had an uh, In-N-Out bag with you, right? So I didn't want to get you food and have it rot, so I put it on a gift card instead. Oh, okay. That way, when you're ready, you can just go get the food. Okay, thank there's a, you. There's exactly $12 in there, so that's exactly what you need for a number one with fries and a drink. Okay. Does that help out? Oh, a lot. Okay. Many blessings to you. Many no, blessings blessing. to you, okay? Thank you. Uh, God sees you and he's praying for you, okay? Yeah, you too. Okay. All the time. Angels watch I, over you and everything. I, always. If I see you again, I'll, I'll hook you up always when I okay, pass over thank here, you. okay? What's your name? My name's Candy. Candy? My yes. name's Damo. Good to meet you. It's nice to meet you too. I hope you have a great day, yeah? Yeah, you too. All right. You got a wonderful smile. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate you. Well, here's the story. I came to In-N-Out anyways because I found out we're not making our all whole food natural meal today because Lexi has a 
little date with Brittany today. They're going on a girl's lunch to cheesecake. So I was like, you know what, it's all good. Let me go get a protein style from in and out. As I'm walking by, I see that lady and she says, I'm hungry, need help. And I just see that someone already got her food. So I got smart and was like, you know what, let me get her a gift card instead. That way when she's ready to get more food, she can get it fresh. That was my logic there. Now again, guys, whether I had a camera or no camera, I'm gonna do it regardless. I especially put it on camera for you guys just because I want to set the example. It's all about spreading positive energy. It's all about giving back to people who need it more than us. I'm so grateful for my life and I do those things not just for them but to just show God like hey man I appreciate everything you do in my life and so I just want to help spread that joy and spread your love to the other people who really need it. So if you're watching this and for some reason today you pass by somebody who needs it more than you do Take the time, do a random act of kindness, and help them out. I've been lifting a lot on top of my boxing. Every day I do 12 rounds, two minutes of boxing, back to back to back, and then I go straight into about 45 minutes to an hour of lifting. And the lifting is what we've been doing different. Like, I'm me and all the homies. And if you guys really paid attention to our workout journey, like, lifting was something we didn't do. We just did a hell of cardio. So we ended up looking all flobby and skinny versus like, toned and muscular and I'm already starting to see <laughs> not to be weird but the differences in my arms and in my chest so I'm just stacking mad protein like I'm eating a hell of meat not to be weird <laughs> so is that just so funny to you so today for my first time I got a three by three with a tomato bun and uh, I'm sure it's gonna taste just like every other tomato bun I got again in and out to 10 out of 10 always but the tomato bun is definitely an eight out of 10. You're really not missing much besides the bread, right? So let's go ahead and take our first bite. Like I said, it tastes exactly the same. Didn't change because there's more meat in it, but just wanted to share that with you guys. Like every meal that I eat, I'm really doing no carbs and doing lots of vegetables and lots of meat. So, cause meat, Guys, showered up, got ready, ate my food, read some of my Bible. Now we are on the way to Dub's house. It's time to shoot a video for his channel. So enjoy this cruise as we listen to your new summer anthem, California by me. <laughs> I'm starting a dedicated music channel, so go up to this channel right here and hit the subscribe button. We're playing it with the label, man. I got a bunch of new music that we're gonna drop, and it's all going to be on this channel right here. We're done with walk for the day. Get the video done for the channel. What's up, big time? Damn, what you doing? You catching one, huh?
<laughs> who I've been doing the video on round one today. These games get crazier and crazier every year. Look at who I'm going right now. The VR headset is literally connected to this gun, bro. Like, look at him. <laughs> just got done filming for dub and it was a good time probably the best part of my day i'm not gonna lie guys we're gonna talk about something a little bit in this video and it's just me sharing something personal with all of you but um today was cool you know i always love hanging out with dub and wop especially as a pair just because it just inspires me to be a dad man especially wop i can confidently say that wop is probably the reason i will have a kid like I got a cool relationship with Wuwa. Uh, we're just homies, you know what I'm saying? But it, it's just, you know, it, it gives me some experience on like how to be a dad, you know? Sometimes Dub will be busy and he'll be like, hey, can you keep an eye on Wuwa? And just having that responsibility and then just having that cool best friend relationship with Wuwa is just really dope, you know? And it just inspires me and goes, damn, like <laughs> maybe it's time for me to have a kid because I really enjoy being a, a father figure and just an older uh uh just role model to to woo up you know what i'm saying and i'm like I'm imagine if it was my kid you know like i could really do this with my kid every day and and hang out with my kid and have a cool relationship with him so yeah it was an easy video i hope you guys go over to his channel and check it out and i thought it was hella funny um definitely taught woo up a good lesson today in this video but yeah guys i'm gonna head back to the crib, see what Lexi's doing. And then, like I said, a little later on this video, I just want to share something personal that's just been going on with me these last couple days, and especially today. And I hope none of you take it the wrong way. Hello, Dev. Your papa's home now, Dev. What's up, baby? Huh? Yes. Oh, so happy. Can I see a rabbit? Let's see. Let's see. Oh. Do you love your papa? Do you love your mama? Do you like cats? Do you like dick? <laughs> Before we get into the end of this video, we are gonna do a little food review at a special restaurant, and it's called Food Chow. Now you guys will recognize this restaurant if you've watched Rush Hour before. So they actually filmed a famous scene in here from Rush Hour. This is what the restaurant looks like. Lexi's already in there. She grabbed seats for us just because we are running late. But yeah, let's go ahead and eat, rate this place one out of 10, and then we'll get into the rest of the vlog. How crazy is it? Jackie Chan and Chris Tucker literally sat in this restaurant and did a movie scene here. Really? Yeah, look how cool this restaurant is, guys. Oh yeah, look, it says rush hour right there. Oh, let's go see. <laughs> That's pretty sad. Yeah, I'm looking at all of them. <laughs> look at guys on the wall right here. <laughs> That's so crazy. Rush hour movies were some of my favorite, bro. I'm sure they were Chino's favorite too. I'm sure some of you know, but I found this restaurant through Dub. We went here and tried chicken wings from this restaurant, but Dub actually didn't know this is where they filmed that movie. Like I said, Lexi already ordered, and we got the chicken chow mein here. Bro, that looks so good. Let's go ahead and rate that one out of 10. It smells so fire, like some real ass chow mein. You gotta think, if Jackie Chan filmed the movie here, then there's gotta be some real Chinese chow mein. Man, I knew this place would hit. <laughs> In Dove's video, he said he hated the chicken wings. I love them. But I am half Filipino, so when it comes to like Oriental, Chinese, Filipino, Korean, Vietnamese food, I love those types of food. Try that really quick and tell me that that isn't a 10 out of 10 for chow mein. <laughs> the noodles look so good. You think Jackie Chan's Chino's uncle? How good is that, bro? Oh my god. 
I'm never going to Panda Express again. Bro, that's exactly what I thought in my what head. Dude, that is so fun. 10 out of 10 for sure. Amazing. The Mongolian beef just got here. Now, if you know me, I'm super big on Mongolian beef. I am a big fan of P.F. Chang's Mongolian beef. Now, if this beats P.F. Chang's Mongolian beef, because I rate that a 10, that is wild, because that is truly, Lexi would tell you, the only Mongolian beef that I truly like. And they closed all the P.F. Chang's around us, so it's not like we can go there anytime soon. So, moment of truth right here. Look at that first. Oh, the steam in the camera. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let me shake my meat. <laughs> Everything is so flavorful. Come I mean, out. This restaurant isn't just hype. I, mean, I would tell you right now if I didn't like that. Let me just, let me just experience that one time. Better than P.F. Chang's? I'll be honest. Not better than P.F. Chang's. Still my all time favorite Mongolian beef. But is it up there? Yes. Solid 9 out of 10. For sure. Try it. Put some meat in your mouth. Good. All of the flavors here are so amazing. Let me just say too, that meat is quality because it's so soft. Like as soon as I put it in my mouth, it just like melts it in my mouth. What do you mean? Excuse me, sir. Where did where did they sit when they were at this restaurant? Uh, do you know what I, I need a side by side. I think one of them in the corner. Oh, is here. Yeah. Uh, I think one of them is on your table. I, I, oh, one was at our table. I think the Chris Tucker is on the table and the Jackie is because uh, then they came at different so times. We so. picked the right table, huh? We picked the right table, yeah. You hear that? Chris Tucker sat at this table. Really? The one we're at. That's crazy because he's like, pick wherever you want. I just picked this table. <laughs> That's so crazy. Yeah. Being a Filipino, I'm so, so big on rice. Like, I'm talking about so big. I'm so picky. I'm so judgmental on white rice. It has to be perfect. This right rice is 10 out of 10. It's not too sticky, not too soggy. It's perfect, like literally perfect. You mix it with the sauces from the chow mein and the Mongolian bath. Oh my God. This is my new favorite Chinese restaurant. Like I said, Mongolian beef from P.F. Chang's is my favorite, but I don't like a lot of the other dishes to be honest. Only their Mongolian beef I like there. But overall favorite Chinese restaurant, this one right here. Fu Tao is my new favorite Chinese restaurant in Los Angeles. Another dish just got to the table, and I just want to explain to all of you watching this. When I rate something high and say that it's good, I really, really like it. To the point where usually I'll go back and get it again. So in Dub's video, I rated those chicken wings that he got a 10. I rated them high. And look, I got them again. That's how you know. I wouldn't just spend $14 for a rack of chicken wings that I didn't like. Dub didn't like them, but I loved them, and I'm so excited. I love them so much, I even tried to, ha to have Lexi make them at home. I was ask, was this the wings you had me try to recreate? She did a decent job, they were good, but they did not hit like this one here. Now, see, if I would have seen this, I would have known that they had a batter on them. We just did ours plain with seasoning and then the sauce. Try one of those, right now. No, you have to, like last time I told us, put a little bit of that and some of the garlic on your bite. I'll just grab this one then. See, it didn't taste oh like the ones you God. made. Those are fire, huh? Well, wow, 10 out of 10. Like, I'm not disagreeing with you. That crunch, that garlic, that flavor is amazing, it's amazing, bro. And that's why I was telling this Dub, place. He, he's <laughs> eating them wrong, baby. He's just eating them plain. I was like, there's a reason they put that stuff on the plate. You're supposed to eat it yeah. with the chicken. Bro. No, this place is it's amazing. amazing. Like, ama I knew this was a good idea to come here. Tonight. Yeah. I really recommend that you guys come here and try this Chinese food. So good. And a, a piece of advice, too. Everything is shareable. Every plate you order is a shareable size. Look at the sizes of the portions. Three plates and we're sharing it all because they all come in a great portion. So I, I truly believe you're not supposed to order these plates just for yourself unless you're gonna just eat one. Come with someone or a couple people and you guys can all share off of these plates, you feel me? Yeah. 
I do. Next time we come, Damo's not a fan of orange chicken, but I love orange chicken. So next time we come, I really want to try that. I bet it's. You should just let me know. We could have ordered it, but it's kind of too late now. We got a lot of food on the yeah. table. No, this is plenty of food. Don't you should say you buy flour for girlfriend, then you clap cheek very very long time. I was wondering what that is. They just put it on the table. I didn't even order it. It's green tea. Oh. Dude, that's how you know it's legit. Like no no Chinese legit Chinese restaurant in the world doesn't give you complimentary green tea. Oh, that's like I had crazy. one in my hometown that me and my family would go to all the time and like that was the thing that we'd all get. And then you put a little sugar in it and this type of green tea that it just it hits, bro. It's just different than normal green tea. See what I'm talking about guys? When you got containers like these, legit. <laughs> I had to order some extra rice because we got some leftovers for sure. And then that chicken. Ah. Oh, nice. With that, the leftover chicken is going to be so far. But yeah. Fu Chow restaurant. Overall, service, everything. Everyone's so cool here, bro. I'm not going to lie. 10 out of 10. Come here and try it. This is not even a paid deal. <laughs> we just came here to try it. So I just wasn't having the best day. We're going to talk about that in a second. But yeah, 10 out of 10, bro. No, yeah, Chino's, Chino's a great person. You know what I'm saying? And your brother really just helped me through so much of my life and a lot of other people. And I could definitely say he's a true Filipino for sure. No, yeah, I, I totally get that. Like, definitely random. I, I did not think I was going to come to Fu Chao and see Chino's sister sitting here. So it is finally a pleasure to meet you. Uh, no, yeah, I get that. I get that. <laughs> A lot of people think I'm gay. Wanted to pop this open real quick. It says, use your charm and personality to obtain your wishes. I feel that. <laughs> now, I did want to address something personal with you guys watching this video right now. I'm a normal human being. So, that means I go through all the emotions just like you guys do. Some days are good days, some days are bad days. In the beginning of this vlog, I was talking about highs and lows and how I've been going through it. I'm not gonna lie, today was like one of the worst days of my life in a long time. And knock on wood, uh, hopefully we don't have a worse one, but... I woke up and it was just one of those days, you know, where everything just keeps getting worse and worse, you know? Um, I found out with my channel that my label did a little experiment and it really hurt my channel, believe it or not. Like, if you guys are really paying attention to the views, the views are kind of decreased right now. It's temporary. It's not a hard fix, but it really did hurt my end of the month. And I've been working so hard, so it just really broke my heart to see those views go down. I need your guys' help, you know what I'm saying? Like, turn on my post notifications. This is not like a push to get more subs. Like, I really need you to turn them on right now because for a little bit, I have to post and get back into the groove and get back into my algorithm. Big lesson that I can teach you guys. When you have a social media page and you go and promote something that's not your niche. Like me, it's the vlogs and lifestyle vids, and the label was promoting a lyric video. So it really plummeted my channel a little bit. And I've been through this before in the beginning when I first started YouTube. We tried to do music and vlogs all on one channel, and you could really make that work. It's just a lot harder. And I don't post enough music or to release enough music right now to be able to do that. So at one point, we just had gone straight vlogs and everything started going up spikes. Since January, my views have just been going up, my subs have just been going up. Now, I had some really, really amazing videos that I released in the last couple days, but since Monday, they've been, you know, pushing the lyric video. When I seen the decline in, in views, I hit them up and I told them, hey bro, this is really messing up my channel. So, when I woke up this morning and saw that my video was not performing, was not getting recommended, was not being shown to you guys, it really broke my heart, bro. Because I was like, wow, like I really worked so hard on all these videos these last couple days and was so stoked, you know? Like, I've done 180 videos this year, but there's some videos where I'm like, I am so stoked for you guys to watch this one because it's so amazing. And then when you see that video just do terrible, it breaks your heart. So on top of that, waking up and seeing that my video is doing terrible, I get in my car, I go to go work out with, uh, I mean, sorry, I go to go film with Dub, and as I'm getting there, curb rash my wheel on my Tesla. like. What the hell, like how, why would that happen on all days, right? So now I'm sitting there like, oh my God. And I get a quote from the guy, the guy's like, it's gonna be like two, 300 bucks because you did both back and front tire. I'm like, oh my gosh, bro. I'm like, this is the worst day ever, right? And then 
we go to shoot for Woo Wop and Dub and I do this video for his channel and that was honestly the best part of my day like shout out to Dub and Woo Wop man especially Woo Wop like they really just brought some positive energy into my day but believe it or not I have been fighting to stay positive today and again I'm a normal person bro like there are days where <laughs> I'm just gonna be sad or mad or stressed like in all 180 videos I've posted, I've probably just looked nothing but positive. And that is the case. Like, God bless. Thank you, God, because the last 180 days have really just been that amazing. But for once, for once this year, which I should be grateful that it has only been once, today I was sad. Not sad like I'm going to start crying. I was just down in the dumps, bro. I just didn't feel the energy to get up today. I even cut my workout short today. Still had a great workout, but I cut it hella short went home and was just stressing about my channel and what's next and oh my gosh like why do i feel so down in the dumps and that's what i meant earlier by highs and lows like you can't be happy forever you can't be sad forever you can't be mad forever actually by fact they say you go through all seven of your emotions in a day but i try to make it to where primarily my main emotion i'm experiencing is positive energy so yeah, I just wanted to tell you guys the truth. Today, I don't have anything crazy for you for this vlog. I mean, yeah, we went to the Rush Hour restaurant and reviewed their food, and that was amazing. That was another good part to my day. So the day is really not that bad, you know? But this morning, and leading up to this morning, and the curb rash, and just everything, bro, is I really was down in the dumps. I almost did not do a video today. I almost just wanted to go home and just go to sleep so I could restart my day. But that is the truth. I just want to let you guys know that I'm exhausted. I'm tired. Uh, I really needed to go have this feel good meal. I'm supposed to be on a diet, but I wasn't about to go eat a healthy meal at home and sit in my house. I needed to get out and I really needed this, you know, like this really helped me right now. So like I said, I need you guys more than ever as I'm getting my channel fixed right now, turn on all post notifications. And if you haven't yet, I don't know why it's free. Go hit the subscribe button, please. You know what I'm saying? But I didn't want to lie. I didn't want to like, finesse a video or do something crazy i just wanted to be absolutely honest with all of you watching and just tell you i just wasn't in the best mood today and i'm sure we've all been through it and i hope you guys understand but hopefully you can relate to me on this and you guys can understand but tomorrow i'm really going to go to bed with the intentions of waking up in a positive attitude and really trying to make it through this low i say today was the worst day but i've been in a low for the last couple days i mean since monday when they started promoting my channel and i've seen it affecting my channel because you guys and YouTube and like this is my passion. Am I like totally worried about my channel? Not at all because like I said I've been through this before but yeah man I hope you guys understand. I hope you guys still keep showing up and watching my videos. Appreciate all of you for just watching in general. See you in tomorrow's vlog. Don't you run.